A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Give Sean a Call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch Madison County School Sports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Welcome everybody to uh, Madison Central Soccer. We're playing Madison Southern here in a District 44 match. Uh, we got Madison Southern at five and one. Madison, uh, I'm sorry, Madison Central at five and one. Madison Southern four and one. Uh, in the all important district, Madison Southern zero and one took a, a tough loss to Model uh, six to two uh, a week ago, and uh, Madison Central played Berea and had a four to nothing victory. I'd like to welcome back. Uh, Matt DiLorenzo uh, from last week. A lot has happened since then. I know uh, when we, we played Paris, it was 7 nothing win, mm -hmm. and uh, we looked pretty good. Uh, one of the bigger uh, events, we had a, a really good game, I think, against Lexington Christian uh, down in Lexington, took off a one nothing victory down there, and uh, they played really well. It's good. Apparently, uh, you know, this game is – more meaningful than more of the other games that they've played this season. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, the type of tempo that each team brings to this game, to the rivalry. I know this is a good attendance. It's a great evening. Um, so just looking to, uh, to see some good soccer this evening. It's going to be interesting to see how they handle this. Uh, this is, as we said, a little more meaningful. Uh, they're, in, they're at an uh, away game. And I know uh, one of the things that we, we noticed about the model uh, Southern game was model got off or Matt, model got off to a really fast start. So I know that Southern's going to be preventing that again. Handball, goal against the Eagles, free kick, the Eagles. Get started. I'd like to thank our sponsors: uh, Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pet Services, uh, Experience Roofing dot net. Uh, Journey Auto and Boat Sales, and always Madison County Sports Television. Already. Now, one of the one of the things I noticed last week against Berea was uh, our possession was much much better coming out of the gate. We really didn't try to do a lot of the over the top. Uh, I noticed uh, when we played Paris, we did a lot of from the back, and we actually controlled a lot more of the midfield. Yeah, it looks like right now Madison Central is playing the ball more in the middle, looking to kick it out to the wings and see if they can make things happen. But right now, it looks like a lot of their early looks. Or to maybe send it to somebody who's checking back from the middle. Um, there you go. It's a good run around. It's a good cross by Peyton. Um, I gotta again, throw in Madison always letting Central. the game come to him. Just got to try to find each, each team's tempo. Be a throw in Central. It's important to get off, to, I think, to a really good start for either one of these teams. Uh, getting that first goal for either team will be really a pivotal. Well, 
Both oh, teams yeah. are playing aggressive. I like uh, I like the way Central's uh, pushing it up. Yeah, the butterflies are still in the stomach right now. They just got to let the game settle. And I don't see, it, or at least hear, a lot of talking out there. That's one thing that concerned me last time. Yeah, it, 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 we noticed, uh, again, uh, when even playing Maria, we, they had uh, 50 shots on goal in that game. And still, they just they don't communicate a lot with each other. And a lot of it is because they, they do know from playing with each other, a lot of these kids grew up playing together, and they do play in the same club teams. Um, they kind of know what they're going to do, but at the same time, um, the same time, you know, you can't talk enough out there on the field. That that all may say, also may go back to uh, being young. Uh, Central does put a, a lot of sophomores and freshmen on the field. Sure. And as they get older, they, their communication should get better and better. Sure. Here's where I'd like to see him get up and play the ball quick. Play wide real quick right here to, uh, I think that's Dylan, right? 22 over here, Hunter yeah. Jackson. Or Hunter, I'm sorry. Using that left wing a lot today. Yeah, they, they haven't been a lot, of the, game, it, or a lot of the games before, so it, it's good to see that. My simple pass in the middle. Mm -hmm. You just can. can you, I was going to say, Luke can use him drop there. It's good. No rush. Or at least no need to rush. Okay, that's gonna. Yeah, that's gonna be a foul. Be a foul on central. I think hey, both teams seem to be kind of filling each other out and see where we're going to go with it. Yeah, it's high energy, which is to be expected anytime you're playing a rivalry game. And I like the I like the tempo right now, at least on Central's part. That's a good D Hunter. Uh, since the last game, uh, Central did have one setback against Boyle County. They, they lost a 2-1 to one victory. They went up one nothing early. Uh, second half, Boyle County scored two quick ones, and then the, the, the game was set. Had a lot of chances, but couldn't capitalize. And a lot of chances again in the Berea game with only 4 to nothing, and had, again, 53 shots on goal, it not finishing. A little indecision. Offsides. That was an offsides on so Madison Southern. Uh, one of the things we noticed last game, we were uh, we were calling Central seemed to be pressing. They they wanted to get the goal, wanted to get a goal, wanted to get it. They seem to have calmed down a little bit on that. They're not really. They don't seem as, as stressed as trying to get that first goal. Mm -hmm. They seem to be building it out of the back a lot, using their center mids, um, and then kicking out to the wings as you see, and then hoping that one of the you know left or right wingers can kind of play the ball into the center, which they've done a couple times, which is really good. Um, I'd like to see Central be a little bit more aggressive on their runs on that. You know, when you play it out to the wing, you got to make that run. So, um, but they're playing well. I think, uh, you know, right now, a um, little bit more firmer passes will help. Um, again, I love the high motor here by Hunter on the right wing here. He, he really has a high motor. But you can tell no team has found their... I guess it's gotten settled into the game yet, which is, again, to be expected. That's completely normal.
That was a good job by Brandon stepping up in there. The last time these two teams did meet was the district uh, tournament last year. They were in 2-3 seed. Uh, One-to-one game ended at 1-1, and then we, uh, uh, the Central lost in penalty kicks. It's a great good job. job. Keeper. Uh, that That's was his box. Great job by Levi. That's good having a senior back there. And I like the quick throw. It's uh, you know a quick counter. Now you use him. You see Luke in the middle of the field. Yeah. But I like the quick throw. Tesher. Uh It's a good ball, Luke. Still a lot, of, a lot of pressure. Rowan, Eagles, substitution, Eagles, substitution, Indian. Looks like uh, we have Trace in the game. Did break free last week, or uh, last week game uh, against Bree and finally got a, uh, his first goal of the year. Did he get one? He finally got one. I remember one. last week he was. Uh, it was a nice assist had actually a lot of by close Bill, ones. Dylan Dotson right back to the middle uh, in the box and. and Trace did finishing off. It's good to see him get on the board. This is where I'd like to see somebody checking back too. Again, firm passes. You've got time there. This is where communication is huge. When you're in their third, as always, Luke good steps up. It's a good try. Good play back. Well done. Central. It's too quick. Right now, uh, Central seems to be controlling most of the game with the with playing the wings and, and methodically kind of moving down the field right now. Mm -hmm. They're going to jo – good job. Now, I like that ball right there. Um, number eight checked back, which is great. Good run. It's and a good too run. Too much on the ball. Sometimes, you know, sometimes oh. um, we overemphasize the one touches. I know I talked a lot about oh, that last week when we were doing the game. But right there, sometimes it's good to just control it, make, make a defender commit, you know. Um, I believe uh, – that Commun player um, goes back to communication. I'm again. still learning these names here, but to Caleb, um, Caleb, Cutter. you know he has he has a really he's a really good good soccer player. And right there, I'd like to maybe see him hold on to it a little bit longer, make someone commit, then either chip the ball in or play through. The one touch is usually when you got your man running quick, but you know they're controlling the ball a little bit down there in their third, which is good. I did like to see, uh, I believe. Uh, I believe it was Dylan checked back for that ball, though. That was good. Now, Peyton's got to make a quick decision here. Good. It's a good cross. Oh. Okay. It's unlucky. First, actually, decent shot of the game, and, you know, it did float a little bit. But good cross. So we're having a player with a left foot always helps on that left wing. Simple, simple, Caleb. Good job by Luke. Good control. I enjoy watching Luke play because of how poised he is. I think a lot of the other players on this central team could learn a lot from the way that, that he controls himself out there. He just, he, he's, a, he's a very poised young man. the middle of the field man. again. Plays well. Lost a little bit of control, but it, uh, it does seem Luke has that opportunity in the middle field. I thought that was a missed call on a handball there. That was a good run by Southern. <coughs> it's, it's different because last time we got to see Central kind of play from the back, it looks like Southern's kind of playing from the back. They're looking mm -hmm. to make the run. Uh, looking to capitalize on the speed up front or mm -hmm. on the wings. 
and uh, and get that go for them. Looks like they're favoring that right side as well. I've yet to see them swing it left. Um, playing to their strengths, but. And they're giving a lot of space back there. Play wide. Now here's Dylan making a run. Let's see what happens here. It's a good, uh, good effort. A little bit, good yeah. This is a, an easy play for the keeper there. Yep. I've seen it. We've seen, what, three or four crosses all have been in the air. No call um, on that one. I thought he uh, came, clearly came over the back on that. This is where you got to step up. Well, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh. That's a great ball. One of the things that when uh, when you pull the sheets on this, both teams have 19 goals for the season. Uh, Madison Southern's given up nine, and uh, Madison Central's given up three. So our our defense is playing well. You can look at Caleb Square. Let's see. Okay, Eagle. I like the aggressiveness on Central's part right now. I like seeing some of the runs that I'm seeing. Um, I feel that the the midfield, um, in particular with Caleb and Luke, they're starting to settle down and see some things, not rush anything. You know, Caleb took one there, but, hey, I've said this before, I have no problem with players taking shots from, from out there because anything can happen. And we've seen him score from out there, actually. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I mean, sometimes you find the keeper playing off his line right there. He's not expecting that. So, a little more of a dangerous pass. Good job uh, by Brandon to stay up with that. Brandon again. He has he has a lot of the poise that Luke has. Need a little bit more on that ball there by Caleb. But uh, you'll notice a lot of the players on that that coaches tend to lean on to lead their defense are players that are very poised. And, and Brandon, again, as a freshman, doesn't get real excited. And he yep. knows he's got the speed. He knows he can, uh, he can make up some ground pretty quick. Lost a lot of that possession orientation. We were doing the same things before. We're trying to clear it again. That's a good ball. And and really nice play by the keeper. It's a ball. nice ball and a nice run. Let's see what happens here. Should we be have a corner, corner kick. That was a good ball. It's good to see. They're, they're putting a lot of pressure on those back four. Mm -hmm. Well, I see they're bringing Tate up from the back, and then, uh, uh, along with uh, Worthy McGuire. Yeah. Yeah, but both a uh, lot of lot of tall height, and then a short kick. Let mm -hmm. me go back to the question again. 
the, the short kick. Yeah. <laughs> it just, it never, it, it never ends, does it? And uh, Caleb will try to throw this probably all the way through. Yeah. That ball bounces. That should be some oh. Oh, good effort. So I was going to say, if that ball bounces in the box, someone's got to be on that for Central. That's a good job. It was a good throw by Caleb. I like the thought. He tried to make the run, but he just put way too much on it. Mass substitutions right now for uh, Madison Southern. We've got uh, what, four or five subs coming in right now. So maybe they're going to uh, try to wear down uh, Central a little bit. Yeah, I think Central's only had one sub so far this game. That's good pressure by Hunter. He definitely brings a lot of intensity to the right side. This is Caleb. Now talk to him. Mm. Luke playing simple. Caleb. It's a good ball. Hunter's got, got one speed. touch that if he can. Oh, unlucky. Yeah. It's all right. That's good soccer right there. That's that's good soccer. You know, I said it last week, and I'll say it again. You could tell we're kind of waiting for one to happen. Um, you know, I like the tempo right now. I feel that uh, the Central's starting to find themselves, starting to find their game. A um, lot of great soccer from the midfield from Central. Oh. Um, uh, ref's going to let that play on as an advantage. Um, this is big man. He should have this. Unlucky. Um, oh, on, off, uh, off target. Did they, oh, I thought you were saying off sides. I was going to no, say no, no, way. no, 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 no. <laughs> that's okay it's though. It's okay. They're getting he had their an chances. Open net and he got a really excited about it. But that started because of Luke. I yeah. mean, you Luke see how Luke went through. He ran through that ball. I'm press. telling you, a lot of these balls are 50-50 balls, whether it be on the ground or whether it be in the air. And you've got to win that ball, and you've got to have players like Luke who aren't afraid of contact and running that ball. That was perfect. If, if, that, if, that, if that kid up front would have scored it and they would have won this game one nothing, you'd give that to Luke because of that effort. A lot of players are scared to have contact and stuff. Um, it's, just, it's just good to see Central has midfielders that, that, that'll, you know, they'll do the dirty work. It's good, good to see his two-body turnout, too. Yeah, it is a good student body turnout. Over there. This is rivalry week, I believe. Is that what you said? We've got a big football game tomorrow night? Big football game tomorrow. We've got uh, Madison Southern and Damian Harris against uh, Madison Central here at Madison Southern. It's good. It's been all week. Uh, all teams have squared off. Uh, JV just won three to nothing. I think the girls lost in a shootout. It's going to be a goal kick. Yeah. But again, pressure in the back four again. They're, they're mm -hmm. making the runs, and but they're controlled. They're not just playing it from the back and hoping that they can make a run in. Uh, like, I haven't seen anything through the middle of the field with Dylan yet either. Central seems a tad bit rushed to me. Just and I don't know if that's lack of communication or, and I and I love the aggressiveness, but sometimes um, I feel that when I see some of these players get that ball, they got to just they feel they got to just get rid of it right away rather than collect themselves, let people make runs, check back, you know, play back. Let's go. It's the kind of ball you need to control on the ground. Hands down, hands down. Well done. Very well done there. Who's this kid right here, 18? Uh, Dylan Hornsby. He's actually got oh, two goals. That's He's good. the uh, second leading scorer for our team right now. That's a great job by him. He's another very simple player. He plays very uh, kind of like a loop type of player. Mm-hmm. 
Give me those players all day. Now we're just getting sloppy. Yeah, I think everybody's just trying to make the play. <laughs> the crowd's getting in it. Everybody's getting excited. He's just trying to – everybody, I got to score now. Again, sometimes on both sides there's, there's, a, there's a sense of urgency that doesn't need to be applied 100% of the time. <laughs> right. And then the question is, how do you react to uh, to this intensity? It is a it's a yeah. rival game. Oh, which how is do you to be handle it? And it's it's important for the seeding throughout the tournament. It's a good ball. Let's see if he can if he knows he has a drop a little bit. That's a good ball. That's all he could do right there. I mean, that's that's not a bad ball at all. Playing to space. And hope that one of your midfielders are there. Misplayed. Now let's see what happens. That's Another a great goal. ball. Let's bring this to feet, Caleb, and see what happens. Mm. You got your left wing Stay open. Up. Use them. Well play. done. Ah. Now Luke. Central's yeah, playing well. They're playing well. They really are. And, that, and that's why I said over the last couple of games, you've seen the control get a little bit better, the play get a little more simple, and another uh, mass substitution for uh, Madison Southern again. you got mm -hmm. five new players coming onto the field. So and it looks Central like that's the game side, plan, right? That's, um, that's going to be what we're going to do. Uh, uh, you I believe number four came in? Uh, a Sufi. And he Sufi. broke through in the Bre uh, Berea game as well and got his first goal. Good, here. good. Bring some fresh legs on. Let's see what happens. Should we keep? I see a lot of kicking out of Southern as far as just, you know, kind of kicking and chasing. Um, it doesn't seem to me that they, um, and not to, not to knock these young men out here, but it doesn't seem to me that they, um, that they play as well as playing the ball up front as Central does. Uh, to me, it seems a lot of kicking and chasing where you see Central, they're making runs, they're checking back, they're playing wide, they're, you know, they're crossing the ball once they play wide. Um, you know, more I've technical. To see, yeah, exactly. I guess that's the word I was looking for. There's just, uh, you can just tell there's a difference between teams when it comes to that. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the home run ball at this point, and then they're, Clearly, they're trying to substitute out, uh, wear them down a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's a good play. No, that's, that is a good play. Good um, play by Brandon as well. It's a great play by Brandon. With it. Now, that right, there, that, was, that right there was a sign of Central subbing some fresh legs. And you can tell that young man who just had the ball, he was fresh. You know, he, a lot of speed came out. And that may be what they're trying to do to this evening. They've got, it looks like they've been, they've been subbing, in, subbing in shifts, three or four players at a time. Yeah, it's actually yeah they're almost at five players at every sub, and they've already done it three times on the cycle. So, like I said, you know the game plan now. Mm -hmm. They're gonna they're gonna try to wear you down uh, throughout the game. Hopefully, stay close, uh, take some home run balls. This is a good ball there. Say, let that ride. Got your throwing. Have a goal uh, kick or corner? corner kick? Corner kick. So we'll see Tate and Worthy both uh, come down down the box. You got to take care, uh, advantage of these piece, these set pieces. You got to, mm -hmm. if, if you're going to break through, this is this is the kind of time you want to do it. That ball hits the ground. That should be central ball. Another corner. Take another. Corner kick. Indian. 
There, there it is. is. Nice play by Worthy McGuire. And, that, and that's, you bring, you bring the six foot down uh, and it pays off on, uh, on that. That was outstanding. Textbook. It's a great header. Great cross. It's a great job. And they didn't do the short corner kick, Terry. <laughs> See? I don't get me started. <laughs> I, I've seen enough of that. I, I, and I've, I, again, I'll go back to it again. I've never seen it work. And, yeah. I, and I'm sure that it has. I'm sure that there, yeah. there's a reason that play is in the books. I sure. just don't know what it is yet. <laughs> Expect Central to, uh, to come out here with an up-tempo. I can see uh, uh, Once you see get that first goal, yeah, get, you get a little I mean, more energy in the mm -hmm. legs. And everybody in, we have a delay. Well, looks like we're doing a sub of some sort. Oh, oh, we got it. Uh, somebody got hit in the mouth or something. Is that worthy? Yeah, um, he looks like he's bleeding from his mouth. Maybe he uh, didn't take a header. He took a face. Took one for the team. Yeah. Uh, hopefully he kept his eyes open. Yeah. <laughs> and it, you don't want to get caught over pressure here, right? I mean, you I think now you, you get, not, the, now you you get you the leg up and, and suddenly. Uh, well, there's two there's two different ways. I think there's two there's two different ways you can choose to play right now. Um, number well, there's there's a lot of different ways. Keep playing the way you're playing because it's working, um, or you could get into more of a defensive uh, shell in the back, or you can keep the pedal to the metal. And you know some teams don't react well to be getting scored on, and they may be able to get another one here quickly. Yeah, they're still you know, running. Play off emotion. Play off emotion. Yeah, right now, Southern's upset. Be, uh, to fall off the game plan, start taking too many home run shots, try to get negative to go. I would just keep of playing what simple they're doing. and do yeah, what you're they're doing. they're playing fine. The yeah. tempo that they've got, I think they're playing great. They've had the ball back here in Southern's back third the majority of the game. Looks like right now they're going to have more opportunities. Um, you know, it's just this is good soccer from Central. And here it looks like another one. Luke. There's Luke Powell. That was great. And again, that started kind of with Luke again up there. I saw the him midfield. making some passes right. in the midfield. And, you know, very unselfish soccer right there. If I was, if I was Central's coach, I, I, I couldn't ask for more. That was outstanding. They're playing good soccer. Now you may want to play back a little bit or, you know. Well, you're looking at 11 minutes in the game. Uh, uh, but Peyton's coming. Uh, Pat Douglas come back in. We're going to move Hunter off. We're going to get some fresh legs in. Just keep playing the game. Yeah, that's yeah. Keep doing uh, what you're control. doing. Just play under control and not uh, and try to do too much. And uh, that's uh, Luke Powell's first goal of the year this year, and and Worthy McGuire's first goal of the year this and year. And that was so you know a lot of unselfish board. soccer in the beginning of that run. For those that watch this on YouTube or whatever, you can pull that back and see that that started with Luke. You know he. Knock the ball off, made a run. A lot of players need to realize that when you pass the ball, you've got to move. And that's what Luke did. Um, you know, create space. A lot, of, a lot of players will pass the ball to a player and run to that player, bringing that defender towards, you know, that player. It's usually you want to make that run away. But that was great soccer. Like Luke came over the top a little bit there. They're going to call that on Luke. This is a dangerous spot right here. Looks like uh, Tanner Kidwell is going to take this one. Uh, he's he's leading scorer for Southern this year. He's got seven goals so far. Let's we'll see what they do with it. It's a good shot over the top. Okay. It, it's it's tough from that angle. I, I, Almost always, as much as I've ever seen the short kick work, I've never seen uh, a lot of them go over the top on that goal. Well, a lot of that's based on the wall that uh, Central, you know, I was watching the wall, and the one thing that shocked me is I didn't really see the keeper talking to uh, to the defense building the wall. Usually the keeper takes command and tells him move left, move right. Maybe he did. I didn't, I didn't see it. Usually, you know, the, the keeper has got to have some type of vision on that kick coming in. Because like you said, the majority of the kicks, they don't work. But when they do, it's usually because of vision or just someone making some crazy shot. It's 
Let's kick out away. Good job on the defense to close that down. Still, uh, still a little pressure back there. Oh, here we go. I was going to say it's advantage, right? Oh, it's advantage. My goodness. Play it fast. He's not going to let him. Oh, that was advantage. My goodness. Wow. Does the severity of the foul dictate whether you stop play or not, no matter what? I think it just depends on who's the official. I mean, and when you and I were growing up, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, if someone falls, they're going to stop traffic out there on the road. There's the speed on Dylan's. It's going to be out. Throw in on uh, Madison Central side. That's a quick throw. I mean, there's the kick and chase that we talked about. Now, number 18 up front for them. 16. Um, or 16. He's their um, leading scorer. Yeah, he seems to have some good wheels on him. He seems to be a high motor. So that probably works for them a lot of the time. But I've yet to see Southern really settle down. I've yet to see them settle the game down and let the game come to them. Um, I feel that, uh, that, again, they keep kind of leaning on this kid up here. Um, and hoping that he can pull something out. But I don't see him getting much support up front. But he's definitely got the skill. You can see that he's their guy. Yeah, he's a leading scorer last year, I believe, for him as well. And he's a junior this year. He's a good player. Good simple play here. It's a good ball. I like the thought to switch fields there. Good control. Got plenty of time. Uh, doing Dylan Hornsby back to the back. Got about six minutes and 40 seconds left in the first half. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and thank our sponsors again. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pet Services, ExpressRoofing.net. They've got you covered. Journey Auto and Boat Sales. At the end of the game, we'll be announcing a Jack Burford player of the game for both teams. So stay tuned for that. Now this is a chance where the keeper he can own this is yeah and he owns this box. You can get away with murder literally on corners and long throw-ins. Could job. be as physical as you want in there. And you you almost have to be. You have to be. That's right. Yeah, even even with your own players. I mean, I've seen keepers knock their own players out, punch their own players accidentally in the head when they're trying to punch the ball out. It's just kind of, you know, do whatever you got to do to get that ball out of there. And then once you get it out, push up quick. Good job. It's a great job. And good job, I'll leave it. i stay composed and, and, uh, and handle that. Another game for your quick out. He had, I think, both sides. Although, you know, there's five minutes to go. He's probably wanting to control the game a little bit. Good job, Luke Powell. It's a great ball, Luke. Now let's see if Peyton tries to control it or tries to beat him and see if he can swing it. Swung it, but a little bit too hard. Oh. No. Hit the back. Oh. Unlucky. That's a good ball by Luke. Luke is playing. Luke Powell right now, to me, has been playing an excellent game. Good control Madison in the midfield there. Set that whole uh, that cross up. Yeah, he just. He's, he's maintained pretty well. It's intelligent soccer. And, I mean, just the, the pace he put on the pass, I mean, it was good. It was good to see Peyton make the run on the wing as well. Almost a, a wasted effort there with uh, the run. Eagle. 
And with all the rain we had in Lexington and the storm over here tonight, it is a beautiful night. Beautiful evening. It's perfect good. weather. It turned out perfect. Not too hot. Perfect evening for soccer. Oh, this is the second perfect night you've had to broadcast. That's so, right. Uh, you just keep coming down here. <laughs> You know, and the thing I like about when the weather's good is you actually um, get to see both teams at their full strength as far as, you know, there's there's not the ball skipping out of mud. There's It's not too cold. It's The wind's, the wind's not a factor this evening. So, you know, this is, is – for a soccer player, this is as good as it gets. It's we'll a good effort by – by Southern They've got a there. lot of opportunity, especially in the last. Looks like they're pressing a little harder, mm -hmm. uh, trying to get some things done. And they're getting some opportunities. Okay. Looks like we've got about two minutes and 45 seconds to go. Uh, questionable. Uh, everybody stick with us at halftime. Uh, Samantha Burford will be here. She's going to talk to uh, both coaches with us at halftime, see what uh, their thoughts are on uh, how the first half went. And if you're central, you just don't want to do, uh, give up anything stupid here. You just want to play your simple game and, and not really uh, have any breakdowns right now. Sure. Just stay with it. Uh, if you can get another goal, that'd be even better. But it's about two minutes left. It'd be good to ride into half with the two, two nothing lead. Two minutes to go in the first half of play. Not sure. Uh, <laughs> not sure where that was going. That, uh, that, I thought he had a pretty good set. He had a little extra time, and I, I think he didn't think he had that much time. I think he, he thought it was closing in a little bit on. Him. Worthy Reguire has returned to the game. One minute, go in the first half of play. Just stay on your feet. Stay on your feet. Stay on your feet. Mm. That's not uh, what we want. Yeah, I think he embellished a bit there too as well. It's all the contact coming and. You just you just want to go into half of the two nothing lead. Just yep, stay up. Thirty-three seconds. Stay uh, stay calm and stay with it. Play your defense right now. Yeah. And let them take as much time as they like with the penalty kick. It's interesting. I want to see what kind of runs they make here for Southern. Bring the kid from the midfield. There it is. It's a good ball. Yikes. Get They're gonna have one court. Oh no. Good. I was going to say, these corner kicks have started to concern me a little bit. There you go. And that's our halftime score, 2 to nothing. Uh, we'll stay with uh, halftime with us, and that uh, Samantha Berther is going to be doing some uh, interviews with both coaches for us, so uh, we'll let her go. All right, Coach, you're down by two, first half. What are your thoughts? I thought we played hard. I thought they played hard. Uh, they got on one of the corners, did a good job getting up over our guy. Uh, the other goal was a little scrum. Uh, guy came out with it, got a good goal. Uh, hopefully the second half we can get a hold of one of these. We've kind of been around the bar too. Uh, could have had one or two ourselves. So it's a good competitive game. We just got to come out and net one or two in the back second half to make a good game. Uh, it's just been a back and forth kind of place game. They're winning a little bit more of the 50-50 ball, so they're knocking it back on our side. So when we do go up for those 50-50s, we've got to make sure we win the second ball, and that way we can kind of get a little bit better control of it and uh, keep it on there a little bit more. All right, Coach, thanks. Good. Appreciate it. All right, Coach, you guys are up by two. First half, what are your thoughts? Big rivalry. Uh, 
we got off to a decent start. I like when we got the second goal, our intensity level dropped. I didn't like that, but I do like the way we responded after we got the first goal. We had the composure, got the second goal, and I like where we are. Seems like the ball's been down on your half more than on the other end. We're moving the ball well. We're, we, we need to get the flanks a little bit more. We need to get our two outside mids, Hunter and uh, Peyton, involved a little bit more. But um, for the most part, we're controlling midfield. All right, what, any different second half going in? So we got to pick up our intensity level. We can't sit on that 2-0 lead. We know what we need to do. We just need to go out and focus and put it away. All right, good luck, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored by Cumberland Valley National Bank and Trust. Visit their new location in Berea. Madison County School Sports is proud to have Journey Auto and Boat Sales as the official sponsor of the Madison Central Marching Band on MCS TV. Hey everyone, my name's Alex and I want you to watch Madison County School Sports.com. Hello everyone. I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter, or like us on Facebook, MCS TV, and of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Uh, welcome back to uh, Madison Southern High School, Madison Central, Madison Southern uh, District game, uh, District 44. Right now we got uh, Madison Central up two to nothing, getting ready to start on the second half. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors: Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pet Service, ExpressRoofing.net, uh, Journey Auto and Boat Sales, and as always, Madison County Sports Television. At the end of the game, uh, we will be giving a uh, Jack Burford Chevrolet player of the game for both teams, so stick with us for that. And as we start the second half, it's going to be interesting to see how S Central reacts to uh, handling a 2 to nothing lead and uh, the energy level for Madison Southern. You know is going to come up, uh, as uh, his coach even pointed out at halftime, he was hoping to get that energy up. I thought they had pretty good energy in the first half. Uh, and I, I'd hate to see... Uh, overboard, try to get too much, too fast kind of thing. I thought they had good energy. I just think they're still trying to find their game. I think Madison Central found their game a little bit earlier. Um, they controlled the ball more in Southern's third. Um, you know, had two good goals by, uh, I believe it was by Worthy and Luke in the first half, and here we are. It looks like uh, uh, Southern is going to try to play more ball. It's all keeper. <laughs> oh, you just don't want to play prevent here. Uh, you know, sit back and, and wait for the attack. <laughs> like, if I was if I was central, I wouldn't change a thing. Yeah, <laughs> just keep playing simple. Keep playing in the midfield. They really have controlled most of the game in, in the in the middle of the field. I think we. Oh man, Eagles. Not a bad ball. A run out.
That's a good ball there by Southern if you can control it. Throw in central. It's a simple play. It's a good ball. We got Dylan in the middle. And Still keeping the pressure on. Uh, they've. Uh, I don't think they've can control, but that uh, Southern's playing a lot more over the top right now. I like the way both teams have come out second half, actually. And good defense. Staying with it. Okay. Indians. So I say you want to keep your head. Yeah. Control. Looks like we pressure that. Should be someone for drop for Hunter right there. No? That's going to be a nice central ball. That's good. Caleb Crutcher is going to throw that. You bring in, uh, again, here we go, Tate with uh, Worthy in the box. So we look for this one to come all the way through. Corner kick. Corner kick. Idiot. So take a, looks like Peyton Netherton on the corner kick. Same way in the first half. Uh, everybody's kind of throwing some punches, see how it works out. Uh, everybody's just trying to settle in, see where we're going with it. It's a good ball. Oh. oh, my goodness. That's a corner to the other side. Oof. And uh, a little discontent in the box on that one. Oh, I thought where they had that one on. Good look. Another corner. There's a lot of pressure in the last couple uh, last couple of minutes in there. There's a short. My favorite short <coughs> corner in the fast play. I'd say you can keep knocking it until it works. Then we won't knock it anymore. <laughs> and uh, uh, only two this time. Sometimes a short corner is made for when you have a one of your players checking to the ball, it's bringing a defender out of the box. So, in essence, if you play that ball to that defender, you're to move, and he plays it back quick, and then you play it back in the box. But what you've done is you've eliminated two people in that box where everybody's making oh, runs, including one of your teammates, but it's just creating more space in the box. So if you can do it quick, it makes sense. But if you can't, it just kind of doesn't. <laughs> That's a good play. like central throwing. Uh, keep the pace. Staying, staying uh, kind of methodical. 
you got the whole left side of your field wide open here. Eagles. This should be keeper. Good job by Levi. Sometimes I was going to say, sometimes it's good to see roll it out, play quick, switch fields. <coughs> good play by Cameron. Another pressure in the up, ball. Stay up. Oh. Looks like we got two players down right now. Uh, Caleb Crutcher and uh, Tanner Kidwell both are down. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered. Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Sufi's coming in, and, and uh, Caleb was a little delayed coming off, but he is going off now. his own player. <coughs> the runs are a little more controlled. But again, it seems like just the kick and chase right now for Southern. I thought he could have probably took that down the wing a little bit. Gave, well, it's actually only one player up front. Seems to be uh, the target. A lot of defense, you don't want to get into the same game they're playing. Yeah, just play your game. It's working. I mean, if again, if you're Madison Central, just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep your head, because this is a rivalry oh, game. Yeah. Emotions yeah. will start getting getting higher and higher as the if the, if the score remains the same. Um, you may start seeing Southern um, play a little bit more aggressive, um, getting desperate to try to get a goal. You just got to keep your head. I'm throwing. Oh, we in here. Good play. He stayed with it. Back Let's to the see middle him switch field. fields here. There you go. Mm. Not good. Let that ride. There you go. Good play. Let's see quick. Mm -mm. On this play by Brandon, good uh, good recovery by Tate though. Too much. Yeah, just too much. Keep playing. Keep playing. Play smart though. Simple. Simple. Oh, I hit the ref. It's all right. Well done. No chase. Ball's going to ride out. Yeah. Rolling in. You see the kind of the 
trying to create too much, trying to create too much. It just seems that right now Southern, they don't really even know where to create opportunities. I think when you play the ball down there on the right wing, I would have liked to see someone swing it, but there's really no one making a run other than number 16 up front. I mean, they, they got one, one target, they keep feeding him, and he just goes. It's just uh, I'm a little confused right now. Eagles. Seem to be trying to get some calls up front. And, Eagles. Eagles. and, and you're not, you're not going to get that call. There, there's not enough content in that. Looks like we got uh, three or four more subs coming in for Madison Southern again. Play by Cope, our keeper there. Let's play quick. Play quick. Got a tendency to hold on to, on to that a little bit too long. Got in the middle of the field. Wrong man, Eagle. Caleb, well done. Same with Luke. There's a good ball. Now what? A little shorter. But Central tries to build that ball up out of the back, and, they, and it's, it actually starts with their midfield. They do a great job of building that ball up. They're not just kicking it and chasing. They're, there's players checking back. There's players paying the ball square. It's just good to see. There's just a different style of play for both of these teams now that the game is definitely settled in with 26 and a half minutes left. Got a call here. Oh, uh, looks like we're going to give uh, Tanner Kidwell a yellow card. And I, I think that's a little bit of production of some of the talk that he may have been having most of the second half. So I think the Rev had a bit enough of it. Maybe that's a little bit of a message to him. Well, I think that... Uh, uh, of all the players on the other team, I could tell that the emotions are kind of riding high with him. You can tell he came out second half a It's a, a district game, and, and then they won it. And uh, the definitely no, the no fault on the emotional side, but sure. you always got to be under control. Seemed to have a delay. The clock has stopped. You got to cross that. No. Okay. Eagle. We can uh, see Hunter kind of trap himself down there in that corner a lot. Uh, give it up a little earlier. We got a, got a player, a player down. down. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get to see what happened. I didn't. Uh, I didn't see any contact either. I don't know what happened to myself. In this case, you just hope it's not too serious. You know, when you watch the game, you'll realize a lot of of what you're doing out here on the field starts with your first touch. It's all about ball control. It's, you know, when that ball's played hard to you. When you collect that ball, you can't get that ball and let that ball bounce five feet in front of you. It's just right to a defender. So a lot of times you'll see these kids, as they learn the game, whether the ball be in the air, whether the ball be played to the ground, whether the ball be a one, one hop, two hop, you want to collect that ball first. Collect the ball. Get the ball to your feet as quick as you can. Um, that's why it's good to play on the ground. You know, um, it's good to have, you know, the ability 
no matter how hard the ball's coming at you to be able to soften the blow, I guess, against your boot, you know. Uh, when that ball's coming in, make sure that uh, that you're collecting it cleanly. And once you these players start to get that down more, they will be able to make their decisions quicker and not have to worry and be so jittery. You see that a lot of that in the young, as young players, and then that's to be expected because these kids are young. But you see the ball played to them, it's either high or it's, you know, because not every ball is going to be a perfect ball. But um, if you want to get the ball and collect it and play right real quick, but if that ball is bouncing and you're bringing it off your chest and it's five feet in front of you and then you're lunging with another player, you're never going to be able to play that ball. So that's some things that, you know, you like to see these kids work on a little bit. It's not necessarily, you know, scoring goals. It's not necessarily, um, you know, shielding the ball from the defender as much, but collecting the ball is so huge. Just having that extra second, that extra, you know, five-tenths of a second, it, it can mean so much out here on the field. Yeah, that, that was noticing. When we played uh, Lexington Christian, they were really good about uh, that first control. You can tell they had a lot of juniors and seniors on their field. And uh, in midfield, anywhere, the first step was control, and then they made really quick decisions. They were yeah. a good team. They were Get really that ball to your team. foot. Very I mean, control. It's, it's a lot easier to make decisions when that ball's right on your foot. We watched uh, uh, the Central Henry Clay game earlier this year and, and see a lot of the same thing uh, with Henry Clay starting a lot of juniors and seniors, pretty much all juniors and seniors for them this year. Uh, and they're a really good team this year. Yeah, that first touch is crucial. And kick back. And I see uh, Fez's first uh, few minutes of the game today. They brought him in. It looks like they pulled uh, Hunter on the right side, and they moved, uh, I think, uh, Dylan or, or Luke. Was it Luke over the right side? No, it's Dylan Dotson. Stay up. Advantage. Feet. Now you play simple. And then the, now, right, keep the control. It's not the play you're looking for. It's okay. I'm a little, a little rushed. Um, and you, again, and you communicate. Force, you force the play there. Let him know he has a little time to turn, collect his thoughts, look, maybe swing the swing it right, play square to Luke. Um, it's okay, though. When you're up to nothing, you can do stuff like that. Oh, and he's a freshman. Played his first action for the day. Played really well against Perea uh, in the second half. He uh, had about three or four shots. Right, clearing again. It's mm. almost an own goal there. Uh, one touch it oh. in there. Stay your feet. Collect it. Good ball. Oops. This played. Oof. Just uh, try, really, yeah, that Southern was almost. got uh, lucky there. <laughs> I, <can laughs> I was going to that, say. Uh, that was right in front of the goal. Play back. Good play, Luke. Good play, Luke. Now move. I'm, oof. I'd like to see that one again on video. I don't know what happened in that box there. Chaos. Here's I'd like to see him play quick, quick, quick. Good sportsmanship. Oh, on I'm Trace sorry. There. I thought they were giving the ball to Central there. No, they called a penalty on Trace. That's a good play by Tate to let the, the goalkeeper handle that. Get a yellow here. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, so we got a, a yellow card for where they're making Anytime, you, Anytime you try to Under. kick near someone's um, feet, you've got to touch that ball. I mean, you know, I mean, that was not intentional at all. But, you know, if you, if you don't touch that ball, they're going to give you a yellow card every time if the kid falls off his feet, if you don't touch it. Time out on the field. I'm stopping the clock a lot. We've got 22 minutes left. The second half, we've got a score of two to nothing with Madison Central winning with uh, goals in the first half by uh, Worthy McGuire off a header on a corner kick and Luke Powell um, off a nice little combination of passing uh, right outside the 18, and he was able to bang one home. Um, it's been some good soccer this evening. Um, definitely. Uh, liking the play of Madison Central more. Um, they just seem to be more fundamentally sound this evening. Roll in, Indians. Content not to control. They didn't really have a, a whole lot of pressure on his on his defense when he when the Southern player got that. It just was just trying to pull it back in the box. I like that. I like that a lot. Good ball. Oh. Oh. Wow. That was good soccer, right there. Excellent soccer. Talk to him. Get play square. Get play square. Huh. Trying to get too much. Yeah, I think sometimes, or at least right there, last two series, um, Simple soccer, simple soccer is what is, is is what you need. Um, but then again, you know, I think that they noticed that the last couple of times down there, that ball's bounced around in front of the goal, and there's a couple opportunities, so they're just knocking it in the box. Which you know, it's again, you're up to no. It's fine. Good flick. It's a nice little flick. Good stop by the keeper. Good effort by Southern. That was uh, Dylan Taylor. Try to get that ball to feet. Bouncing. There you go. Now you got uh, a little more control, and you see the, the midfield control. Ooh. Peyton tried to do a little too much there. You want to make a, a decision to whether play back or make a move and swing that ball in. Simple, simple, too much. Luke could have a shot here. Oh, it's a great ball, unlucky. But he, uh, under control, looked well. Seemed to get a lot more control back of this game. I'd like to see S Central get one more. Um, you know, but the, the main thing right now is just to keep your composure, continue to play the way you're playing, hopefully get out of this game with a 2 nothing win, if not 3 nothing, or 2 to 1, or 3 to 1, whatever you want to say. Just get out of here with a victory, everybody healthy, no yellow or no red cards, um, and hopefully get some of your subs some playing time. Get them, uh, you know, engaged in this robbery a little bit. That's definitely going to be a ball going for Yeah, I was going to call that on Tanner. And I think he's waiting for a response as well. You can play quick square. There you go. And again. There you go. Simple. 
No, he's looking for the big one. He had uh, probably both wings were available on that. Yeah, I mean it's good to swing that ball when you're when you've got the ball at half field or behind half field. But I think when you're in the deep third, that's a to slip a ball behind the defense when you're in their third. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard from from there. I mean, it, when you I can have see eight it being a, box, a ten foot pass, fifteen foot pass, but a thirty forty if not longer maybe a little tough. But, I mean, you can tell. Um, Central sees opportunities. They're smelling blood, and they're going for it, like right here. It's a good shot. It's a great opportunity. I love that. I yeah. love that effort right there. That's Luke Powell. That was – Luke is having a great game. Good job by Dylan to control that. Peyton's got to use that guy right there on top of the box and make a move. The decisions back where they've got the ball right now and their third have got to be quick. It's got to be quick decisions. One, two touches is all you need. You saw Germany do it, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what oh, they do. Okay. And good job by Levi to come out on that. It comes with trust as well, knowing, knowing who you're on the field with and yeah. uh, knowing where they're going to be. Uh, it's, un just, understanding it's just going to hey, be hard. Hey, we're here. you got to be there. It's, it's just going to be hard at this level to be able to dribble through a lot of people when you've got oh, the man. ball. Eagle? And it goes and back to the communication the thing as well. Right? Sure. Eagle? But, again, they're playing great soccer this evening, Madison Central, and, you know, they're smelling blood. They want to get one more. And they've almost had a couple in this half. Yeah, there was uh, that one uh, in the box. I'm not sure how they didn't score on that one. Yeah, I'm anxious to see that on the on the film. Good control by Luke. Uh, smart, smart play. Another really good run by Caleb. He's got to give it up. You had your left side wide open on that. Also, when you're dribbling a lot like that through people, you can get yourself hurt. You've got to be careful. And, you know, again, if this is a closer game, yes, I may, you know, want to see more effort like that. But right now, I just don't want to put yourself in situations. Really, uh, of, you know, because like I said, this is a rivalry game. Um, emotions oh, are going to be high. And we've seen it before, you know. You dribble through one, two, three. By the time you're trying to get around the fourth player, someone's going to just chop your legs out. And, and, and honestly, sometimes in soccer, that sends a message. I mean, it does. Sometimes, you know, I hate to say it, but there are kids Players. that play. There's adults that play like that. They Just like enough's enough. You're not going to continue to dribble to all of us. If I have to take you out, I have to take you out. And that's how injuries occur. It is. Good play. But I like, like right now, I love what they're doing right now. I like the way they're knocking. Uh, that's a good ball. I that's thought, just uh, I think Kayla thought uh, Peyton was going to make that run, and then uh, it just never happened. I guess the ball is still alive in that corner down there. I think that was an attempted cross. Yeah. If you think back to the two goals that Central has scored in this game, one was off a header and off an outstanding kick uh, and run on a corner, and the other was some great ball movement um, that Luke Powell started and finished. And I think if they just continue to stick with that kind of soccer, that's what, how they're going to they're gonna capitalize and get another one. It's going to be a corner kick. And you can see they're starting to get back to collective. They're, uh, they're controlling the midfield a little bit better now. They're playing a little bit better. But they're getting yeah. back into their game plan a little bit. And they're putting they a lot are. of pressure on uh, uh, Southern again. You're also starting to see a little bit of that antsy urgency that I talked about two weeks ago where it seems like they're all just, you know, trying to get one more real quick um, where they just seem to be rushing it just a little. It's a good ball. Have it. Have it. That ball to feet quick. This is a one touch territory. One touch. We've got a lot of opportunities on those throws. He just uh that was gonna be a foul right there. Yeah, and you like know, that's that a good job by Southern. You know, we keep 
of course, you know, we're biased here, um, calling the game. Uh, but, uh, you know, heck, that's been three or four chances that, that uh, Central's had. And Southern has been able to escape. So, you know, I applaud their defensive backs for that. They have had a lot of pressure tonight. Yeah. I'd be interested to see stats on exactly how many uh, how many shots on goal were uh, tonight. Not sure how they got through all that traffic. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Uh, there was no contact anywhere on that ball. Not sure I under this understand that play either. That's a good play. And That's good a great speed. ball. Yeah. Ooh. And a little high. He rushed it a little bit. Yeah. Um, oh. Keeper stayed on his line a little longer than I thought he would there, but that was a great job. Great defense. Um, and great again, run. Uh, again. He made a really good run. I thought uh, Taylor uh, fed him well. I was well. just about to say. And uh, Kidwell really had a, had a good look on that opportunity. opportunity to went a little high. He said, he said he got anxious a little bit. Well, and number 14, is it Brandon, who's a freshman? Uh, Brandon Carney. He's solid. Yeah. I mean, he stayed with him the whole way, didn't didn't dive, didn't do anything, you know, stayed on his feet. And that was enough to, you know, to make him miss. Looks like we got a little warning in the middle. We yeah, talked about it a little bit already. It could get chippy. You're it's two to nothing. It's going to get chippy. Yeah. You watch. Oh, yeah, you got to call that. And they card. I think he's fine. Um, now they carded uh, number 11 there, senior. Yeah. Uh, Zach Davis. I think they made the run on the corner, and uh, he beat him a little bit, and he – you just kind of play the physical to get through it. Here's what's interesting. Let's see what they do here. There will be a substitution by the Eagles. Of course, you want the ref to make sure that they give him 10 feet. But uh, or you could play quick. Well, he's also got to write the card down. So what's going on here? He said he held him up. Nice ball. You got to I think you got to go high on that. Talk. Uh, yeah, Tate pulled up on it, and uh, I don't think Trace thought he was going to go by. Good play by Hunter to continue. You got to like the energy. <laughs> you got to like the energy, but this half I've seen something that I feel that central on both wings – both Hunter and both Peyton tend to hang on to the ball a little bit too long, meaning they're trying to create things, and I love it for I love them for it because sometimes they do create things, but I feel that their talents, um, their energy level, um, you know, Hunter's right foot, Peyton's left foot can be utilized a little bit better if once they get it they kind of knock and move. Um, sometimes they hold on to it a little bit too long. Um, I'm actually surprised he called that. He had a card. I'm surprised he actually called that. He's fine. I think he's okay. Well, I know he's been nursing a sore ankle. That's, uh, that's something that uh, I know it's, he's, uh, he's got his left ankle taped right now. So. That was a contact on that. It's just going to be. And we've seen, what, two yellow cards in a very short period of time already. Yeah. And, and back to the wings, you know. Um, 
when you get that ball on that right or left side, you want to make one or two moves, head down the line, and just send that ball across or play back. If you can't beat that defender down that line, you got to pull back and play square or drop it and move. Um, you know, sometimes it just gets into that chase game or just it's like the only option you feel that you've got on the wing is to beat that guy on the wing, and it's really not. You can always play that ball square. You usually have somebody who you can drop it to. Um, but it, be again, if you can beat yeah, that guy on the first or, 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 or second touch and go down that line, that's perfect. Um, then it's your job to cross it or kind of cut the angle off and kind of go towards the near post and see if you can drop it or, or what you can do. But uh, it's just you're going to have to make those to decisions ball. quickly. It's got to be quick decisions. It's got to be quick decisions. It's like looking at another short corner. The ref wouldn't let him kick it. This one will be played in the box then. Looks like Central's not bringing up much, uh, all the defense. Should play back quick, and it's just to be sent it right in the box. There you go. Yep. Yeah. All in all, I, I, I would be happy with the way Central's played this evening. If I was their coach, I like the tempo. I like the unselfishness. Um, you know, I get a little nitpicky on here. Um, you know. And that, that's not to discredit anything that these players are doing out there on the field, just giving a different opinion of maybe some people that may be watching or listening and wondering why maybe certain players think a certain way or the way the ball is played a certain way. Um, just trying to give a different perspective. But all in all, I think Madison Central's played an outstanding game. And they're growing. Again, well, you go back to the, the fact they're a young team. they got to get better. Uh, they're making the adjustments that they need to get better. That's a good effort. Simple ball, simple ball, simple ball. Holding on. Yeah. That's, uh, he cleared that wide. That's good. Uh, Luke. Pressing. That's a great ball. Oh, oh. you got to put that on front. Oof. And that's uh, that was Hunter Jackson that missed that one wide. Looks like he just didn't get a foot on it at all. I think he had a good set. He just had just uh, rushed it a little bit. Tried Probably to one was touch. shocked that that ball came to him right there. <laughs> was there was no though. traffic. It's a so. good job. Again, they're playing good soccer. I mean, they are they are playing good soccer. This is a game that they really want to have. Um, hopefully, they can get the win here. Everybody remain healthy. That's a good ball. And it was a quick decision. It was a good uh, good play early. Didn't didn't try to hold on to it too long. See, he's listening. You don't understand that. He can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Right to the middle of the field. Look to do the they're drop. looking well. They're, they're, Look to switch they're looking for each other to. well. Like the communication is still not there, but they're looking well for nah, each other. they're playing. I mean, it's, it's, that's that's a, good all right. that's a good ball. Let's see what we got here. It's going to be a corner kick. Corner kick. Andy? We've got about five and a half minutes left. would like to uh, thank our sponsors, Jack Burford. Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Barry Goble, Luxury Pet Services, ExpressRoofing.net, Journey Auto, and Boat Sales. It's a beautiful evening here in Berea with Madison Central leading 2-0. Two, two, Five minutes left. Oh, that, I don't know how that was missed. It was a wide open box again and uh, just missed it. Okay. 
Had a lot, lot of opportunities again. A lot of opportunities. Uh, the keeper's done well to, to keep a lot he of those out. He really, he's really and, has and, and uh, done a good job. Southern's done a good job. Made a really to, good effort on all that. Yeah, to, to you know, to keep, to keep the ball out of there. There was net. two or three times that we thought there was definitely going to be a goal, and they st he still maintained and kept a really good control. Mm -hmm. And you just don't give up right now. You don't just scrap your game, play to the middle, good job. And they're playing fine. Ooh. Roll in, eagle. They've come a long way. You know, what we saw uh, just in two or three games and how they played and, and how well they look for each other and how much control they've had. They've really done – They've really. you can see them growing every single game. Uh-huh. And they've got some tough – Tough uh, games coming up on the schedule. You've got um, oh, Tanner scored. So there you go. You've got three minutes and 35 seconds. Tanner Kidwell scores our first goal for uh, Madison Southern. Now this and is going to be an interesting yeah. last three and a half now minutes. Now you're going to see a whole lot of pressure from Madison oh, Southern and how well see, Madison Central holds on. And you're going to see a lot of uh, high energy tempo on both teams right now. Yeah, but I'll, I'll, I can't emphasize enough. Emphasis this enough. If I'm Madison Central, continue to play the way you've been playing all game. Don't change right, it. That's thing. what you're you, fine. Don't, you don't change wanna, it. Don't want to. Momentum changes. You gotta. You gotta maintain. Just play simple. They're gonna be all over you. They're gonna knock you. They're gonna kick you. You just take the punches and play simple and get out of here. Go kick, even. It's like go kick Madison Southern. That's a good goal by Southern. Um, that was their leading score from last year and this year, correct? Yep, that's He's Tanner. got some wheels on him. That's his eight for the uh, year this year. They're going to play up. Great yep. job good by job Luke. by Luke. Now play it again simple. Simple. There you play you back. Go. Knock and good move. Ball. Oh, wow. No call on that either. Uh, it should be a corner. Oh, they're giving him a goal kick. Goal kick. Eagles. That's all right. You got to get back. Just get back and play soccer. You can't change the call. Again, like I said, they're g it's going to be, you know, they're going to come at you. So be ready. Yep. And this is where you, you got to compose yourself. You got to control everything. But you can't get caught into their game right now. You don't want to be the one hacking them. You don't want to be the one trying to, to, you know, get them back if they get away with, with, you know, a bump or a nudge here or there. Just play soccer. It's worked all game. You've dominated the whole game. You've dominated the whole game. Goal kick. Okay. The last thing you want to do is give them a direct kick or indirect Two kick inside. Going the game. You're third because of a retaliation. So, yep, you go. they played well. You don't want to. You don't want to do anything stupid in the last few minutes of the game. Continue to play your game. I'd stack that box a little bit if I was central. Maybe drop someone back. Um, try to possess the ball right now. You want to possess it. Getting late. Got about a minute and a half left. Madison Central. I'm going to call a foul. Leading Madison three Southern two to one. Three with three Southern three just three scoring a goal with three and a half minutes <laughs> left. So they've made this interesting. Yeah, look for this ball to go all the way in. Yeah, and this is where you've got to make sure that you set that wall and you mark up. You've got to mark up right now. It's critical that you mark up. Then you got to clear it. That's right. Just get the ball away. Don't don't dribble one two touches. Get it job out. Good job, I to clear. Play it out. We're under a minute Roll now. In, here comes uh, another, amazing. No sense of urgency. You got to get that ball in right now if you're Madison Southern. I think you're, they're going to use taking the kid way to throw too much long, time. Like like a uh, like a corner. Yeah, we're going to go all the way to the box. If you're Madison Central, <coughs> you just got to clear this ball. This concerns me here. You're playing. Uh, there should everybody should be in the box for Central. Clear that way. Oh. Uh, Keeper. Good job by Keeper. Good job. Good job. Yeah, good job by Levi to control Hold that. Hold on to the ball. Hold on to the ball. Hold yep. on to the ball. Good Take job. your time. Take your time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we can't discount the fact Levi's played a really good game as well. And he, he has. He's, he's played a great game. He's done very, very well with this. So we're under 15 seconds now. 
that's going to kick it. And if you're central, you just got to control the ball. Just control the midfield. Yeah. There you go. Nine, eight, and just can continue to control seven, the ball. There you go. Six, get away from the ball five, right yeah. now. Just four, let it ride. Let it ride. Three, let it ride. Two, one. That's a ball game. That's Good a job. great and great job great by Madison Central by to both hold on that composure at the end of the game. Great Good game day. of soccer by both teams. Well Good pressure. Teams. Good pressure for everybody at the end of the game. So, uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Jerry, uh, Jack Burford, Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goebel, Luxury Pet Services, uh, ExpressRishing.net, and uh, Journey Auto and Boat Sales. I uh, said so for player of the game, I think we're going to go uh, for Madison Central. We're going to go with Luke Powell. He's played a great game in the midfield. Got his first goal of the year. I thought he handled himself extremely well. Luke Creed. Created a lot today. Uh, kept the composure on that midfield for Central. And um, you're gonna, then we're going to go with Some Tanner. Madison Southern, we're going to go with Tanner Kidwell. Yeah. He got his eighth goal of the year. He's been their leading scorer. High energy in the front. And uh, I think he did. Uh, he, he kept his team in the game this year, or this game. So, so Luke Powell and Tanner Kidwell are both your Jack Burford Chevrolet players of the game. We want to thank Jack Burford for sponsoring a player of the game. Um, and, again, just a great night of soccer, a great victory. For, uh, for Madison Central. And uh, just uh, who they got next? Uh, we got Ma a model. Model is going to be Tuesday night uh, at Madison Central, which will be the uh, the, the last game in, our, in the district game. So 2-0 and in the district. Uh, see how they handle it on Tuesday night. And uh, thank you all for joining us. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored by Cumberland Valley National Bank and Trust. Visit their new location in Berea. Madison County School Sports is proud to have Journey Auto and Boat Sales as the official sponsor of the Madison Central Marching Band on MCS TV. Hey everyone, my name's Alex and I want you to watch Madison County School Sports.com. Hello everyone. I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter, or like us on Facebook, MCS TV, and of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube.